Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Opportunity Briefing for Corel's latest product offering, PDF Fusion. My name is Jillian Tuzo. I am a large account manager and team leader here at Lifeboat Distribution, and we are a proud distributor of Corel's innovative line of software. It's a privilege for Lifeboat to host today's presentation. I want to thank you all for attending this webinar. Throughout today's presentation, you will be pleased to learn how PDF Fusion is exceeding customers' expectations as a solution for viewing, editing, assembling, and creating PDF documents. Typical of Corel, they have produced an elegant, powerful, feature-filled solution to meet a common customer need, and that's why you can expect your customers to buy this product once they take a look at it and try it for themselves. In addition, Corel offers you their reseller program, partner program that allows all of the support and tools you need to succeed. We know your time is valuable, so let me get right to the introductions for our main panelists. Joining me on the panel today from Corel is Cindy Howard, who is the product manager for PDF Fusion, and Christina Desforges, who is an account manager for channel sales for North America. Thank you all for your participation and welcome. And before I turn over the presentation, I want you to know we do encourage you to ask questions, and you may do that by entering your questions in the question and answer panel on the right-hand side of the screen. At the conclusion of the presentation, we will answer as many questions as time permits. I also wanted to mention that if you have any questions about selling PDF Fusion internationally, you can contact your Lifeboat sales rep to get any details about selling the product in your region. With that, I will turn the presentation over to Cindy. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Let me just start the presentation. So today I'm going to show you Corel PDF Fusion. The key features that I will be touching on is the fact that you can use this application to view over 100 file types, even if you do not have the software on your system. I'm going to show you how to do some simple edits and annotations. I'm also going to show you how to take those files that we open to view to assemble them into a different order and then save them out as PDF, XPS, or Microsoft Word doc format. Also, I'm going to show you a batch conversion tool and how to simply print the PDF out of any application. Also, the integration with Microsoft <coughs> excuse me, Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. So let's get started with that. We compare ourselves with Nuance version 7. So PDF Fusion is over here on the right. So we are able to create from any application that prints, as I mentioned on the other page. We can also add post-it notes and add new text to existing pages. And so I'm going to show you a little bit more with that. But before I start, let's talk about the press coverage. So we've been getting excellent coverage with anyone we show the application to. So you can see the comments from BrightHub Gadget Guy, who was extremely excited when we showed him this, as well as some of the other coverage that will be upcoming with PC World, Smart Compu Computing, and some other uh, publications. All right, so let's start. Now, I've been showing you the slideshow in the application. So that's another one of the views that's available in PDF Fusion. So I open this PDF file, and I can go to View, Presentation, and show the file. All right, with that, let's get started. I started out by dragging a Word file into PDF Fusion. I can go to another view, so I have the Assembly view, the Flick view, and the welcome screen. This is how PDF Fusion looks when you open the application. It's really easy to use. You can drag documents straight from your desktop onto the interface in any of the views. And as I mentioned, it's a viewer. So Thank I you, Cindy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we're seeing uh, your desktop at, at this moment. All right. Are you just showing your screen? Yeah. yeah, we're just still showing the the screen that we had up before. I don't think it's switched over to yours. I click on show my screen. Let me see. I can start over for you, too. Actually, I do see the introductory slide, Cindy. Maybe I'm going to be viewable now. Slow or too fast for you? Yeah, let's see. Let me start it on another PC so I can see what's going on. Is it changing? 
No, it doesn't look like um, you're sharing your desktop for some reason. All right, let me try again. There you go. There we go. All right, so let me go back and... Uh, Okay. So All right. So you can, there we go. There we go. Just so you can see uh, what I was talking about. So we'll be able to view these file formats. I'm going to zoom through this because we can share these slides with you afterwards. We're going to assemble pages. We're also going to save pages out as various file formats. Okay. Did the page change for you now? Yeah, yep. we're good. Okay, perfect. And so this is where we compare ourselves with Nuance, which is about the same price point as PDF Fusion. But you can see we are much have much more functionality than Nuance Converter 7. And our press reviews that I talked about, you can see the quotes now from Bright Hub, the gadget guy, this baby is awesome. And that, like I said, was a great comment to hear from him live on the phone. Spokane News, a Sentinel, and other items on the page for you now, as well as Law Technology News and Technology Guide. All right, so when I hit Escape, you'll see that now I'm in PDF Fusion, and I used the presentation view to show you the slideshow. So you can also use this application to open any document and just press F7 and use it, show it as a slideshow. All right, so what I also on the welcome screen, what we were talking about is that this is how PDF Fusion starts up. So we have the three views, the page view, the flick view, and the assembly view. And you can drag any document onto this view. I just dragged a Visio file. I do not have Visio on my system. I can use it to open JPEG, so I just simply drag and drop. I can also go File Open and open all of these file formats as well. Right now that I've opened a couple of documents, you see I have the tabs across the top. Let's expand the view, switch to assembly view. All right, in assembly view, the top area with the crosshatch is the final document that I'm going to create today. You can move these documents around. You can uh, drag all these pages up and put them above. So you can really build a document anywhere. But the way the application is built is this is kind of my area where I'm going to do all my work. So I brought in a Visio file. So here's the Visio file. I'm just going to drag it up, drop it into my assembly area. I no longer need the Visio file, so I'm just going to close that. I'm also going to drag my JPEG file up and put it in the document up here. Now the flick view, so we've seen page view where I was running the slideshow. We've seen the welcome screen. Now I'm going to switch to flick view, which is where you can look at the document as if you are reading a book. So I can zoom in a little bit more. I, if I have a tablet, I can use gestures on my PC. And you can scroll through the document and see how it's, the final version is going to look. You can also double click on a page to see it close up. Let's go back to assembly view because I think I'd rather have my JPEG over here and I'd like to edit my Visio file and change a word. So this you can select a word of text, right click on it and say correct selected text. So this is your light editing that you can do with text. And again, remember that's a Visio file and I do not have Visio on my system. So that change will now be in the new file I'm creating. It will not touch the original file. And the same zoom controls we had out front are down here available for you at any time. Okay, let's go back to assembly view. I'm going to right click on that and rotate that left so that I have all my pages put together in the right orientation. Let's look one more time. You can also use these buttons to just play through. Well, I'm already here on the first part and it will automatically scroll through the document for you. You can click on the center page number button to go to a specific page if you have a long document. And you can also stack pages if you have an extra long document and you need to see other pages. All right, now that we have our document ready, let's save it. 
You can also use a finished document wizard that will step you through the same steps I'm doing today. When you save out, you can save as a PDF, an XPS file, or a Microsoft DOC file format. We have setups here already built for you, but you can go in and create a new one so that every time you create a PDF file, it will have exactly the settings that you like to export. So when I create a new one, I can go in and choose what level of PDF would I like to output. So if I'm expecting older readers or viewers of PDF files, I might want to drop my compatibility down. Just as you would expect from any PDF product, we can also add password protection to open the document or to simply make edits to the document. You can embed your fonts. You can do compressions on your pictures all the regular things you expect, and export that. Now, another method that you can use is we have a batch conversion tool. So instead of starting in PDF Fusion, you can open this application and simply drag items right on top, and it will do the same thing for you, except you can batch convert. So I can drag five Word files. It will automatically output to whatever I select. And under here, I can say when I batch convert, what do I want the format to be as an output? All right. Now let's start Microsoft Word so you can see the integration that we have with the Office applications. So in Microsoft Word 2010 and 2007, you will now have a new tab, Corel PDF Fusion. And any document you have open, you can just do one click output. So that will detect the installation of these programs on your system and add that. That supports Microsoft Office 2003 with menus, 2007, and 2010 with the tabs. You can also output to any application that can print. So just by going in to file print out of any application, you have a PDF print driver that will be installed with the application. All right. Now let's go back to Fusion and do a few small edits, and then we'll take any questions you may have. All right. So when I right-click, you'll notice that I have a new toolbar. You can also click a second time and get the same items on a right-click menu. So you can go in and highlight. You can also add a note. And you can see as I type, we actually do spell checking inside the Post-it notes. I can also add new text and make it look like the original text by selecting free text. I can go in Marquee area where I'd like to add text. And the controls ahead, above that area rather, include bold, italic, and font selections that you can make to match. When you finish, you can leave it in this state for a while with the gray bar. When you're finished and ready to make it part of the document, you press the right-hand button, which toggles or flattens that text onto the page, and then it becomes part of the page. And let's switch back to the slideshow just to see if there's any other questions you have, and then I'll hand it over to you, uh, Christina, for questions. All right, let's go back to presentation mode. So the reasons that users would need PDF Fusion is it increases their productivity. Remember, this is a great price point for application that they can rearrange pages, view over 100 file formats, and output PDF in over three different ways. You're saving money because you don't have to buy applications when you receive email attachments. For instance, if you get a CAD file, you don't need to run out and buy AutoCAD. You can now view it in PDF Fusion. The same thing is true for PowerPoint files. If you bought a PC that doesn't have PowerPoint, now you can view the files instead of having to download the Microsoft Viewer, which means you can also move pages around within those files. And, of course, you can share files within, with anyone by the ability to output PDF, XPS, or Microsoft Word. The packaging is a mini box with one flap 
there's the inside, and that's it. Christina and Jill, I'll hand that over to you. That's great. Thank you very much, Cindy. No problem. Jillian, that will be coming back to you. If Christina, yeah, let's see if we uh, got any questions from anyone. Sure. Doesn't look like, uh, does anyone have any questions at this time? All right, well, uh, before we conclude, uh, let's quickly review our call to action. Um, to get further information on Corel PDF Fusion, we encourage you to visit the Corel website by going to corel.com. You'll find a great page for PDF Fusion there where you can find additional information or download a free trial version. We also encourage you to check the information on the website about Corel's partner program. And speaking of that, um, Christina is also a great resource who can help answer any questions about working with Corel and their partner program. And as always, please contact your Lifeboat sales executive for help. Um, they can help you with obtaining product information, demos, trials, pricing, and pre-sales assistance. We hope you found today's presentation valuable. Corel is truly a great company to partner with. They have superb team ready, willing, and able to help you grow your deals and your business. So I encourage you guys to introduce Corel PDF Fusion to your customers. And I also want to remind you to take advantage of the special $29.99 offer. Um, it's exclusively, exclusively offered to you for attending today's webinar. Thank you all again for attending. Once again, it was a pleasure for Lifeboat Distribution to be part of today's event, and we hope we will hear from each of you soon. So for now, everyone, at, everyone here at Lifeboat Distribution and Corel, thank you, and have a great day.